Hey everybody, Stone Daughter Studios. We're doing a boiler maker. I did a boiler maker yesterday, a couple days ago, the pink and white one um, with white. And today I'm going to do a boiler maker with black. So I've started. I got my colors mixed, but I haven't layered them in my shot glass yet. So I'm starting to layer them in. Starting with the Naples yellow should come out last and then I'm going to do a neutral in the middle of that which is just a straight up gray this is an artist loft gray okay Look at that and then this is master's touch red orchard And then right in the middle, I'm going to put some pure uh, gold, which is the um, folk art that I get at Walmart. I'm not putting any flow in it. I'm just going to open it and layer some gold in the middle of my colors. Right on top. Gold right in the middle. And then another layer of the um, Naples yellow, the gray, and the red orchard. It's going to be a full little shot glass. Um, then uh, make this yellow again. And some gray. And some more red orchard. And just for fun and giggles, I think I'm going to throw in a shot of white right down the middle of this shot glass. Just because. Alright, shot right down the middle. That should be interesting. Okay, now you can see my cup that's got the black in it already. Boilermaker, everybody knows you put uh, a shot of whiskey in a, in a beer and then drink it. I'm not drinking this, <laughs> by the way. Uh, my colors are layered in the shot glass. My black is in there. Gently sit this down into the black. And if you have to get a really long toothpick, push that down in there and it will cover be covered up with the black. Pull your toothpick out or your skewer or whatever you have to push it down and then you're going to add more black on top. You're going to have plenty of paint. This is a um, 16 by 20 canvas. So I'm pouring this on top to make sure we have enough and to engulf the shot glass. Okay, that is plenty of paint. Now, let's set this to the side. And we're going to do a flip. So we're going to sit that right in the middle of this canvas. And flip it. And then it's going to have to sit. So the shot glass can slide down to the bottom and release its paint. So 
So we're just letting that settle. Wiping my hands off. Had to go close the front door. Rocco was barking at something. I don't know what. There's nothing out there that I could see. Okay. This is going to be fun to the black. Alright. Just getting things put away down here. Okay, here we go. Wow, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. And as soon as you lift off this cup, nine times out of ten, your shot glass will fall over. Just be prepared to grab it. Okay, here we go. I'm kind of skeptical, but, you know, it's either going to be great or it's going to be a big old mess. So here we go. Lifting this up. It's always a vacuum on it. Here we go. And of course the cup didn't fall. Set that to the side. Then you pick up your shot glass and it's going to be slippery because it's got that black on it. And then you pick up that and put that to the side. Let me go wash my hands. There's too much black for a rag to get it all off. So I'll be right back. Just letting that shift and settle a little bit. Let me get the torch. Get out some of these bubbles. Okay. Now we need to start moving it. See what comes out. And of course, I know all you can see is black on the camera, but there are some cool colors coming out. Oh, this is so pretty. This is going to be cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see that? See how it's... The colors have come through. Sides and my corners covered. And then we're going to move it back into the middle. So give me a second. I know you can only see the back of the. Give me a sec. back down another way a little bit and that was the perfect amount of paint for the 16 by 20 canvas this looks really cool with the uh, with the black background. Wow, this is really cool. Yeah, this worked 
this worked. Oh, I'm so happy. So happy. Okay. Oh, wow. That is so cool looking. Wow. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's trace it down just a little bit more down. Beautiful. Can y'all see that? I know there's a light on it. Can you basically see the design? Oh, it's turned out so beautiful. Okay, got my corners covered. Um, all the sides are covered. Sides are covered, and that is a gorgeous piece of art right there. Oh my god, that is beautiful. I'm in love with this technique that I learned from Christina Welch. Um, I follow her on YouTube, and I also am part of her group on Porage Posse on Facebook. She, I think, invented this uh, boiler maker. Yeah, this boiler maker pour she invented because her father likes to do uh, boiler makers. So. Him having a drink one night inspired her. Thank you, Christina. So, um, yeah, let me take the camera off so you can kind of see this. It's just amazing. I just can't believe this. This turned out beautiful. I thought what black would take over and it would be too much, but it's not. It has turned out beautiful and I will post a picture of it I'm really sorry about that light right in the middle but that's the only light I have Try to move it over a little bit see there we go and now my arm is in the middle okay and there's an overall shot without the light on it that it's really turned out pretty so I will definitely post a picture y'all have a beautiful day bye